today on CityCast Philly. The Free Library of Philadelphia recently issued a new design of its library cards, celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. It's got a cool graffiti design with a Liberty Bell that spells out Philly, of course. And not only can you get this limited edition card, your library card is the ticket to so much more in the city. So on this episode, we're going to find out what else you can get with your library card. It's Wednesday, June 28th. I'm Trini Nuri, and here's what Philly's talking about. Christine Caputo, your Youth Services Administrator and City Programming Manager at the Free Library of Philadelphia. What's the coolest thing you can do with your library card that most people don't know about? Well, there are so many cool things with your library card and happening at the library. So be sure to check out your local library. And with your library card, you can borrow the world with your library card. So we have um, books, of course, that you can borrow for board books for babies all the way up to our oldest seniors and everyone in between. We have something interesting for you to borrow. We have lots of cool kits that you can borrow as well. Um, One of the coolest things is our birding backpacks where you can borrow that at several libraries. You get uh, binoculars for adults, you get binoculars for kids, you get a field guide uh, with birds in it so you can identify what you're seeing, and you get a map of some of our local parks near the library where you borrow the kit from. So that's really cool for this time of year when you can see all kinds of great wildlife out there. We actually spoke to a local birding group on the podcast before, and they told us about this birding kit that you can do. Now, For card holders, are you allowed to keep these kits or do you have to return them? So you have to return them so uh, other people can use them. So you can keep them for about three weeks uh, and go out and do your uh, visiting to all our parks and uh, natural places and then bring them back in another uh, family can borrow them. And then if you want to come again, sure, borrow it again and and go out to uh, explore a different part of the city. That's awesome. Now, the library also has hiking backpacks we can borrow too, right? Right. There's a few hiking backpacks out there that can help make your adventure more fun when you're out there hiking. Those are very limited, so we only have a handful of those at a couple locations. Okay. So the library has over 50 branch locations, and there's something for just about everyone. I want to break this down a little bit. What kits are available for folks who are into fitness and wellness? Well, I know at our South Philly library, we have some health uh, kits where you can borrow, um, I think they have a blood pressure uh, cuff and some other things that you can do to help keep yourself healthy and keep on top of your health. Um, We also have lovely programs that you can attend at our libraries. We have yoga classes and meditation classes and all kinds of things that you don't need a library card to attend, but we're happy to have it so you can borrow some of our great books about health afterwards. I saw that there on the website, I saw there was a food scale you can borrow to measure out your food. That's really helpful, too, um, when you're trying to eat healthy. So uh, we do have that at one location as well. There's also something I saw, a home gym kit. Do you know what's in that? I haven't seen that one myself. That's a newer one for us, Um, but that is uh, available, I think, at one or two locations. Um, So give them a call and check it out before you stop by to pick it up. Cool. Cool. Chris, is there anything available for the music lovers in the city? Well, we've got lots of great music programming happening at our libraries, um, and you can uh, listen for free to all of our world music um, databases that are streaming with your library card. So we have um, the American Song Database, which is all our historical songs from the Civil Rights Movement, um, from the miners, from farmers and explorers that have happened. Uh, We have Contemporary World Music Database that you can stream that has um, a great selection of things from all over the world. We have our Jazz Music Library, which is one of the largest jazz music uh, recording collections that's available online. And then we have other things with popular music, as well as uh, the Smithsonian Global Sound, which also has global music on it. And it's all free with your library card. So you can go to our website, you can um, put your library card number in, and then download all this great music to listen to. Wow, that's awesome. We also have a collection of uh, musical instruments that you can borrow with your library card at the Parkway Central Library. So in the music department, you can get a guitar, you can get um, little drums, you can get uh, a recorder and all kinds of instruments so that you can learn to play or you can practice skills that you already have, um, along with you know music books and other things to help you out to uh, become a wonderful musician. And that's one of our most popular collections that we have. 
That's cool. I definitely have to check that one out. What branches offer tools that I can check out if I want to learn how to cook or practice my cooking skills? So we have um, our McPherson Square Library that circulates cake pans and um, not just any old cake pans, but they're um, different images that you might want to do once a year or once in a lifetime to make a wedding cake, to make a cake for a child with a character shape uh, and things like that. And those are free to check out with your library card. You may want to call the McPherson Square Library ahead of time just to make sure the pan you want is currently available. Chris, it is summer. School's out for the summer. (laughs) So many parents are wondering, what could I do for my children during this time? So each year we have a summer uh, program called Summer of Wonder, a reading and learning program for kids, teens, and adults to participate in. All the way through August 11th, you can come to the library and participate in programs. Kids can earn stickers on our um, game board. Teens and adults can enter a raffle for reading books and attending activities. And we also have our online Summer of Wonder where you can participate from home if you'd like to by logging your reading books, your activities, you can write reviews, and you earn points and badges for participating and we also have raffles so you have a chance to win a gift card uh, for participating this year. We're also um, trying to top last year's record of number of minutes read. Last year as a group online we read 487,335 minutes and this year we want to beat that record so we invite you to come and join us online. Oh, y'all did a lot of reading. The library also has other things to offer kids. What's available for our younger learners? So for families with babies and toddlers, we have our Read Baby Read backpacks that are available at two libraries. Um, We have packs with books and toys and manipulatives around colors and shapes and animals, counting. Uh, We also have books um, that are in Spanish and in Polish to um, help people who have just come to the the city to be able to uh, participate as well. So those are free to check out with your library card for about three weeks. Uh, In addition, we have our bus busy bags at our Blackwell Regional Library. Um, It's a backpack that you can check out um, to ride on the bus for the routes 21, 42, and 52. All those routes bring you to the Blackwell Regional Library. And the backpack has information of things to look at out the window as you're riding by on the bus. It also has stories and activities and like a notebook and pencil for you to take notes and have conversations with your kids as you're riding the bus. I love this. I love that these kits are involving other city agencies that we have in the different languages that it comes into. This is really helpful. Absolutely. Um, We like to partner with other organizations, with other city departments, and we try our best to have materials in multiple languages at our libraries across the city. Now, speaking of transportation, are there resources for people who ride bikes? Yeah, the Fishtown Library, I think, is our only library right now that has um, bike locks that you can borrow so that you can ride your bike around and lock it up when you get to your destination and then um, come home and uh, bring it back when you're done with your trip. We also have audiobooks that you can download onto your phone uh, with your library card. So if you want to listen to a story or a novel or a nonfiction book while you're uh, riding your bike, you can also do that as you're traveling around the city. Okay, so portable things. Okay, what about those rainy days and you need to do an activity indoors? What would you recommend that I could check out with my library card? So as we've been mentioning, we have a lot of kits that have activities in them. We have literacy backpacks at some of our libraries as well. We also have um, a family book club kit uh, that has a lot of teen uh, books in them so that you can all read together. And that includes books like The Crossover by Kwame Alexander and Stamped by Ibram Kendi and Jason Reynolds um, and other great novels and books that people have been really enjoying. We also have um, some things that you can check out from our libraries um, like uh, audiobooks and CDs and DVDs if you want to borrow them. And you can certainly download lots and lots of streaming movies and streaming music from our website for free with your library card. Um, At the Tacconi Library, we also have um, jigsaw puzzles and other kinds of games and puzzles that you can borrow for free with your library card as well. And um, you may find other special collections at other libraries where you can find something fun to do at home. Cool. 
Do you also have those knitting needle sets available? Right. At a couple of our libraries, um, crafting has become really popular. So we have some knitting needles that you can borrow if you if you like to knit or if you like to learn how to knit. We also have programs at many of our libraries where you can come together with other crafters uh, to talk about your projects and work together and learn more about how to do things around sewing, around quilting, around knitting and crocheting, and many more things. Now, Chris, you've mentioned that our library card gets us access to ebooks and audiobooks, music that we can listen to, as well as we can stream movies, right? Absolutely. We have a couple different databases, including Canopy on our website that you can go to to stream movies for free um, whenever you would like to. You can just download with your library card and your PIN number. I love this. This is this is good on the budget. It is, absolutely. <laughs> and there's other services out there that charge you lots of money to have access to resources that you can get for free online at the library. Chris, before I let you go, I've got to ask you, you know, you've given us great recommendations, but for folks who may not be aware, how do I actually get a library card? It's really simple to get a library card. You can do it two ways. One, in person. Stop by your local library, and we're happy to give you a library card there on the spot uh, for all ages. You, you just have to be born and alive, so you can be any age to come in and get a free library card. In addition, if you're trying to access our online materials and you need a card really quickly, ages 13 and over can apply for a card and get it online uh, quickly so you can access all of our free resources. That's great. All right. That was Christine Caputo, Youth Services Administrator and City Program Manager at the Free Library of Philadelphia. Chris, thank you so much for all of these recommendations and for joining me on CityCast Philly. Thank you very much. It was great to be with you today. And if you're interested in getting that limited edition hip hop card, check out your local branch. We'll have a link to Philly's libraries in our show notes. And here's what else Philly's talking about. Philly police arrested 175 people for drug and gun-related crimes in Kensington last week. According to Philly Voice, officials seized over $1.4 million in drugs and 27 guns in a three-day operation. Some people involved were charged with various crimes, and others were offered to participate in a police diversion program. That's an alternative to sending people to jail. We talked about that program on the show earlier this month. We'll have a link in our show notes. And the city needs your help with naming its new public restrooms. These standalone units will be installed in different neighborhoods throughout the city over the next five years. But the Department of Public Health doesn't want to call them Portland the Lose, which is the brand name. So you can actually vote on three choices. One, Philly Lou. Two, Philly Public Restroom. Or three, Flush. Using PH, you get it? We'll have a link in our show notes so you can participate. Voting closes Thursday at 5 p.m. That's all for today here on CityCast Philly. If you enjoyed this episode about the other stuff you can check out at the library, how about you bring a friend so you both can get a card and try one of those jigsaw puzzles. And while you're on your way there, rate the show, leave us a review, and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to sign up for our morning newsletter, too. It's called Hey Philly. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. Bye.